when President Museveni and a band of acolytes escaped to the Luero jungles in 1981 to start a guerrilla warfare against the Oboti II government, it was unfathomable that 41 men with only 27 guns would one day overthrow a sitting regime. However, with a groundswell of resentment, the numbers of fighters grew and so was the weaponry to fight the shooting war. In 1981, Sergeant Stephen Serombach Fulgunyu was under the shackles of bondage at Ruzira prisons, but six months later he escaped and joined the NRA in Luero. Rather than compete at Ruzira upper prison, why didn't you serve in any? 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 Why didn't you serve this war of attrition largely focused at annihilating the enemy. Often in the early days, the morale after a bruising battle could drop. Chifurugunyu started composing songs which could lift the spirit of the fighters. Oh, freedom, freedom, oh, freedom, oh, oh freedom over me, over me. And before I be asleep, and be buried in my bed, and go home to my Lord, and be free. Oh, moto, oh, now walk. To my lord and be free, O Moto. Yet the perils at the trenches battlefront did not spare Chifurugunyu when he was shot in the head. He was flown to the US where he received treatment. When he returned, President Yoweri Museveni asked him to concentrate on composing songs to morale boost the fighters. <laughs> Fero combatants and protecting the struggle, our country Uganda must be free. We are we are not afraid, so just a poor respect, and we shall go to fight until you can free. His music deeply resonated with NRA fighters who continued to make gains in the war that till to date this golden thread runs in many liberation songs. He also composed a number of songs to usher in the advent of the triumphant troops that brought the curtains down of the Tito Kelo military junta on January 26, 1986. <laughs> His genius of music and dancing not only gained popularity amongst the old, but the youth as well. Some artists today, such as Gerson Wabui, popularly known as Gravity Omutuju, have redone his music. Chifurugunyu is angry that this artist did not seek his permission. In the sunset of his life at 76, Chifurugunyu is still keen about music. He also sang his favorite song. In spite of his role during the Bush struggle, Chifurugunyu is poor. He now wants the president to come to his rescue. Chifurugunyu, sergeant. A retired soldier, Chifurugunyu today resides in Kawimpe Mbogo with his family. With financial assistance, he hopes to return to the stage where he will record most of his music as videos. Solomon Kawesa, NTV. <laughs>